Welcome to DUDR Academy. In this video, I am discussing the topic flannel graph. This is a topic from education. So here I will be discussing the meaning of flannel graph using a flannel graph or uses of a flannel graph and the teacher situations. That means the uses for the teachers and the advantages of flannel graph. First is the meaning of flannel graph. It is a display board which is made of wood, cardboard or straw board covered with colored flannel or woolen cloth, cotton or paper. So flannel graph it is a display board that is made of wood, cardboard or straw board and it is covered with colored flannel or woolen cloth or it can be cotton or paper. So actually this is a display board. And the uses of this flannel board include first one is backing up pictures, cutouts with sandpapers. It helps in backing up the pictures or cutouts with sandpapers. Then it helps to display the materials in a sequence. So it helps in backing up the pictures and that it helps to display it in a sequence also. Then it helps to change the pictures as you talk to the student. So when the teacher is explaining to the student, the teacher can also change these pictures. And they can display one after the other each pictures. And it helps to create proper design to lessons. The flannel board helps to create proper designs to lessons. So these are the uses of flannel graph. Now we can see the teacher situations means mainly how the teacher can use this flannel graph in a classroom. It helps in storytelling. The teacher can use the flannel graph and helps to or it helps in telling the stories. Then also it is effective in language teaching. It is effective in language teaching. Then it helps to recall the testing. Then it is useful in puzzles and it also helps to find the interrelationship between the steps. So these are the situations in which the teacher can use or the teaching situations, how the teaching situations it will be effective. That is for the storytelling, then it helps in recall the testing, then puzzles, language teaching and interrelationship to find out the interrelationship between the steps. So these are the uses of flannel graph in teaching situations. Next is the advantages of flannel graph. First it helps to halt the interest of students and arrest their attention. So it helps in developing an interest among the students and helps to keep their attention. Then sequential change of materials provide continuity in lesson development. So when the teacher is teaching in between she can uh, change the pictures or change the materials which is displayed so this in a sequence so this sequential change of materials provide continuity in development of the lesson in teaching the topic also it can tell enthusiasm of the teachers and students so it will develop an enthusiasm among the students and also it helps the teachers to take the topic effectively then Quickness and ease of changing display materials is possible. So the display materials can be changed very easily. So it is uh, it can be done at an ease and quickly also it can be uh, changed when the teacher is taking a lesson or taking a topic. So it is not difficult to change quickness and ease of changing this display materials is one of the advantage of flannel graph. Also, it enables the teachers to talk along with changing the illustrations. So, in between uh, the taking the class or in between changing this uh, display materials or illustrations, the teacher can give the explanation of each one. That means it helps to teachers to talk. So, these are the advantages of flannel graph. It holds interest of the students and arrest their attention. It gives a sequential change of materials, provides the continuity in lesson development. It can tell enthusiasm of the teachers and students and also uh, there is a quickness and ease of changing this display materials and it enables the teachers to talk along with changing the illustrations.
So this is the topic of flannel graph. I hope you all understood this topic. So thank you.